friends, I had an idea for an epic new podcast. The story of a kid who got separated from his parents and must survive in the jungle alone. So with the help of many friends, we made it. Dad, it's me. I'm trapped down here in the Lost World. He said Lost World? I found out this hole and, and slid down this big, long tunnel. Right near where we camp, there's a hole in the ground. But what happened next is one of the biggest reasons I got my nickname. Miles the Brave. And I learned that you should never give up just because things look hopeless. Even when you're not sure what to do, you just never know what might happen if you keep trying. Miles the Brave is our exciting new original podcast made by Story Button. The entire season is available everywhere August 21st. So right now, make sure that you search for the podcast Miles the Brave and click follow. You are not going to believe what happens on this adventure. Hello, friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kids Short Stories. Make sure that you look down in the show notes or the description. There's a whole bunch of really, really great links there, like the Instagram for Hey Mr. Jim or Kids Short Stories, or the links for activities for you. There's so many great stuff, so make sure that you check the show notes and that description down below. Well, friends, are you ready for part two of Dexter and Oliver's crazy adventure with the Marshmallow Volcano? Ah, me too. Let's go. As the ground was shaking, Dexter and Oliver were covering their heads with their arms, expecting the end, expecting an explosion of lava and rocks that would end it all. But it was not lava and rocks. You see, in order to understand what is about to happen, we have to go back in time just a little bit. You see, the purple ninjas had created a marshmallow egg. Like a real marshmallow egg, which actually sounds pretty amazing. I think I might want one of those. But their plan with it was pretty evil. They're always trying to create a scenario in which Dr. Stinky Breath can actually take over the world, which means all of us. And their plan this time was to make everybody extra super duper sticky. Have you ever gotten marshmallow, like melted marshmallow stuck on your hands, like maybe after uh, cooking a s'more over a campfire? Yeah, marshmallows uh, can become one of the stickiest things that I've ever touched. Like marshmallow fluff. Holy smokes, once that gets on my hands, there's no way it's ever coming off. And just imagine if your entire city was covered in a giant blanket of marshmallow fluff. It might sound deliciously tasty, which it is, but it would be an absolute giant mess. I don't even know how we could get around if everything was covered in feet and feet of marshmallow fluff. That would be a serious problem. And unfortunately for us, the Purple Ninjas are pretty clever with their plan. You see, they had created, like I said, this egg of marshmallow fluff, and their plan to spread it off all across the whole town was to use the pressure inside of the volcano. You see, even though the volcano wasn't erupting lava anymore, it still was building up pressure inside. That's why steam can come out of old, old volcanoes. Just imagine if you had a bottle of pop or soda and you shook it up. What happens if you take the top off? Yeah, it explodes. Or if you put Mentos in Coke. <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of pressure and it explodes. So as our story jumps back, to Dexter and Oliver, who are now huddled on the ground, completely covered in marshmallow fluff. Dexter, Dexter, are, are we dead? Is this, is what's all over me? Said Oliver. Dexter was holding his arms out, almost like a zombie, but it's because they were just covered in all this sticky goo. And then, wait, smells like marshmallows, said Dexter. He took a lick of his arm. This is totally marshmallows. This is amazing. 
Seeing the two of them began to eat the marshmallow fluff that was covering their bodies. You see, a lot of it had exploded everywhere. Some of it on them and a whole bunch of it on the ground. But they were very, very stuck. Uh, I can't get up. Oliver, come over here and help me stand up, said Dexter. But I can't. I can't move. Oliver pushed and pulled with all of his might. But that marshmallow fluff was like a sticky glue trap. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no. You see, I, I knew we couldn't trust the purple ninjas. The marshmallow fluff sounds delicious and amazing. And I think I want marshmallow fluff to just explode all over my backyard. But as we just learned, that is not a good plan. As much as Dexter and Oliver pushed and pulled and tried to squeeze their way free, there was no chance. They were two very stuck spies. Oliver, how are we going to get out of this? We can't even reach the walkie-talkie to tell HQ to send help, said Dexter. And that's when Oliver remembered. Wait a second. Remember earlier? We told HQ that we were coming to this volcano and... I think they said they might be sending somebody, but I can't remember. And it was just then that they saw in the sky a team from HQ. We're down here, shouted Dexter. But don't land. All this white stuff is like a super sticky glue. Dexter, Oliver, what in the world happened down here? It's the purple ninjas. They dropped some kind of... I don't know, white exploding thing into the volcano and it shot all this marshmallow fluff everywhere. Is it all over the city? Yes, it certainly is. Completely surrounding the volcano and and this whole town is completely covered in marshmallow fluff. We have an antidote that we brought for you that will free you from this sticky mess. Here. HQ dropped a vial of this antidote. It was like a bright green liquid. It kind of looked like slime, but they said it would work. So Dexter and Oliver rubbed it all over their body, and immediately the marshmallow fluff slipped right off. It's working. We can... Oh, I can finally stand up, said Oliver. All right. You should be free now to be able to walk through this fluff. We're going to need to... Find a way to spread this antidote across the whole town to save everybody. But for now, we're going to send you the coordinates of the nearest volcano because we're sure that Dr. Stinky Breath is not going to stop with just one explosion. He's probably on his way there now. Here are some clean jetpacks. You guys get going. Dexter and Oliver put on their new jetpacks and blasted off. They had to get going. HQ was going to notify Spyology Squad to come up with a better way to distribute this antidote for the whole town to get rid of this giant sticky mess because nobody, and I mean nobody, was able to get out of it without the antidote. That other volcano was not that far away and they got there very quickly with their jetpacks. As they landed on top of that volcano, they looked around with a pair of binoculars. All right, do you see anything over there? Said Oliver. Uh, not of, nothing over here said Dexter. They were looking for the purple blimp in the sky, which is the number one sign if Dr. Stinky Breath is nearby. That is the first clue. Well, maybe his stinkiness. No, that's the first clue. And then then the second clue is you see, you probably smell him before you see him. Yeah. Wait a second. What is that over there? Said Oliver. Off in the distance, they could see a drone coming. It looked like an HQ drone that was carrying something really big. As it got closer... They saw what it was. Holy smokes, they sent us a trampoline, said Dexter. And there's a note on it. Look, as the drone lowered the trampoline down on the ground at the top of the volcano, there was a message from HQ. It read, Dexter and Oliver use this trampoline to position right in the place where they're going to drop that marshmallow egg. Hopefully it will bounce back into their blimp, sending them into a spiraling sticky mess. That trampoline couldn't arrived a minute later because, look, Dexter was pointing towards the west and there it was, the purple blimp slowly descending through the clouds. They're getting closer. We got to get this ready. Hurry. Dexter and Oliver positioned the trampoline. 
they had to camouflage it so it wasn't completely obvious that there was a giant trampoline on the volcano. I think that would be a little suspicious to the purple ninjas. What do you think? <laughs> yes, very suspicious. So they covered it in some dirt and leaves and it looked perfect. It almost was invisible. The sound of the purple blimp was now very loud. Dexter and Oliver hid behind some bushes and the purple blimp was positioned right over the trampoline. Do you think this is actually going to work? Whispered Oliver. I don't know, but this is going to be crazy if it does, said Dexter. And just then, the purple ninjas dropped that next marshmallow egg and it boom, bounced off the trampoline and went right back into the blimp. I wish you could have seen it. But there was an explosion of marshmallow fluff inside the purple blimp. And it was a complete disaster to their plan. Oh no! I can't move! Somebody help me! Boss, where are you? What in the world is all over me? This is way too much marshmallows. I can't even drink my hot cocoa. Purple ninjas, what happened? Great job, Dexter and Oliver. You two saved not only the day, but the whole world from a giant sticky mess. You see, later on that day, Spyology Squad was able to hand out that antidote to the whole town, relieving everyone of that giant sticky mess. Woohoo! Oh, this is definitely the end of the story, and hopefully the end of that very sticky adventure. <laughs> the end. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating two birthdays. Drum roll, please. Brrr, Happy birthday, Maple, who's turning seven years old. Maple loves to ride her horse, do awesome cartwheels, and create beautiful artworks for her friends and family. I love it, Maple, and I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy 7th birthday and next up we have happy birthday zev who's turning six years old zev loves helping his dad fixing and engineering new things loves the color green and anything super mario he's the best big brother in the world to myla wow i'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show happy sixth birthday zev well, friends, I hope you all have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!